Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore creative and innovative Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Erin Owen, and today we're going to talk about a breathing homework series for the beginner client. This episode follows closely on the heels of proprioception and your brand new clients. I like to give homework as soon as possible. If, in the, if I can give homework the first uh, session, I try to do that so that these clients who may not have been comfortable in their bodies for a while can start to gain that sense of self-sufficiency and joy and comfort in the movement of their bodies. So if they do their homework, we can get that much further on the next session. So the homework series that I like to give is very simple, but it's the same ex exercise in three different positions. So we start by lying on our back. So I have the client lie down in a comfortable position, and I'll have them bring one hand on their very low abdomen and one hand a little higher. And on their inhale, I'll have them puff their abdominals up towards the ceiling. And then on the exhale, use the sense of their hands to help guide their abdominals back in. And then same thing there. So I'll do a series of five or six breaths here, helping encourage that exhalation on the condensation of the abdominals. And then I'll have them come up onto all fours. So it's the same exact action, but in a different relationship to gravity. So on their inhale, they'll let their abdominals hang down towards the floor, but I'm gonna also add in this proprioception of a blanket on their back. So I'll have them find a towel or a blanket at home that allows them to feel their spine and allow them to keep their spine long as they go through this exercise. So inhaling, letting the belly hang, and then exhaling, gathering the abdominals, snuggling the or organs back up in towards the spine. And we'll do five or six breaths there as well. And next, I like to come up into a sitting position. So now we're coming closer to what the body would be, uh, what the body would be experiencing in a standing position. So we're moving gradually up. So from here, it's the same hand position as lying on the back, one hand low, one hand higher, but still below the ribs, inhaling into the belly, and then exhaling, feeling the abdominals sink in away from the hands. I'll do a couple breaths there with them and then bring their hands to the crown of their head and feel that distance from sitting bones all the way out the crown of the head. Same breathing, inhaling, letting the belly relax, and then exhaling, feeling the length through their spine. And then for the last two breaths, I'll often have them do one hand in the front and then one hand in the back. So I just bring the back of my hand down to my lower spine, inhaling into my belly, and then exhale, gathering the front and back in toward each other. So I'm actually narrowing that space as I'm lengthening tall through my spine. And that series helps to bring a level of awareness to the client's breathing and the use of the abdominals that I haven't found otherwise. That's it for today. If you have any observations or questions you'd like answered on an upcoming episode, please comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or on our forum. See you next time and never stop learning.